everyone and welcome to a new Damlock video. Today we're going underwater. The game that I'm currently working on highly focuses on exploration and I had to have some underwater exploration. The idea here is pretty simple. I want my character to be able to go into water, swim in all directions, and be able to perform a certain number of tasks while in water. He's also going to have an oxygen bar, which is going to go down the more it stays in water, and that resets automatically whenever the character goes to the surface. While in water, the character can use the energy points to shoot projectiles, go through energy barriers, heal, and all the energy-related actions. The energy points are going to be available as long as the character has some oxygen. So if you reach zero oxygen, you will not be able to use your energy points. I'm still debating on this, I don't want the game to be too punishing, but at the same time I want to add some extra challenge and I want to give to the player this feeling of urgency whenever you have no oxygen. So the very first thing I did is to work on the water. This was the very first time that I worked on shaders ever, so I had to learn a little bit how shaders work. I'm gonna leave in the description down below the tutorial that I followed for the water shader. Basically what I'm doing is that I'm modifying the pixels that are already in screen and modulating them so that it looks like you're underwater. Of course I still need to polish the water shader, but overall the idea is there. I also worked on a swimming animation for my character. It took a little while because I did not know exactly how I had to structure my frames, but I tried anyway. At the end I simplified the animation to make it look like the character is just moving his feet. So it's not ideal, but it gets the job done. Once I got the animation for the character and the water shader, I had to work on the physics. The water physics per se are not that hard to manage. However, I wanted to have a different behavior for whenever the character is on the surface and whenever the character is inside the water. I've experimented a little bit and now I'm using a ray cast on top of the character to check whether it collides with water. If it doesn't collide with water, it means that there is no water on top, which means that you are on the surface. While on the surface, the character is not allowed to jump out of the water unless he's next to a valid wall. Here I'm using yet another raycast to check whether the character is in water, on the surface, and next to a wall. And when all of these conditions are met, the character can actually jump out of the water. This way, the character will be able to go up to the surface, stay on the surface, and only go out of the surface whenever he has a wall next to it where he can actually go to. I then combined everything in a test water area where the character has to open a door whose switch is underwater. This was a good way for me to test how the character controlled underwater and whether it was easy or not to navigate through the area with the oxygen limit. I've also implemented a small countdown sort of timer which tells the player how much time there is left and I also added the number of seconds so that you know exactly how many seconds you have left. The colors of the number are also changing according to the level of oxygen so you go from green to yellow then orange and red so that it hopefully delivers this idea of urgency and of being out of oxygen. I'm not really convinced about the timer thingy, maybe only the seconds are enough. So let me know in a comment down below what you think about the system. Should I keep the timer? Should I change it? Should I remove it and only have the numbers? Please let me know what you think about it. I also changed the number of seconds that you can spend in water according to the color of the aura. So you start from a basic 60 seconds and then as the color changes you go to 90, 120 and 180 seconds. So this way I can design some underwater levels where certain areas can only be accessed if you have already unlocked a specific color because you actually need more seconds to get to a given point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this underwater exploration. Please let me know in a comment down below what your thoughts are, what do you think about the mechanics, what should I add to the underwater exploration, do you actually like underwater exploration in games or do you find this to be frustrating? Also I finally have a small logo for the channel, up till now I didn't really work on one but I decided to draw a small portrait which does not look like me at all but it's already a start. <laughs> so I hope that you guys like it, feel free to leave a comment on the logo as well if you'd like. And I wish you all a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.